Welcome back to Chiang Mai Jia. Hi, my name is Douglas Chan. Today we're going to cover one more case study related to astrology birth chart under Chiang Mai Dun Jia. Chiang Mai Dun Jia is able to analyze the person's character and destiny, and also things that may likely to happen to them in months or years to come. So anyway, today we have this particular chart which is born in the nineteen ninety five March of seventh. So we're going to analyze the character and see what's likely going to happen to him in this case. So this person, we need to see where is their day stamp. This is called the day stamp. Okay, over here. Thing, thing is called the stamp itself, and it represents somebody who is would like to shine, would like to help people, but their ability and their skill set may not be so strong. But they are willing to sacrifice for others. So anyhow, let's look at the character of the person over here, which is in box number seven. How do we know it's in box number seven? Because there's a thing over here. So whichever is represent in box number seven, it represent the information, the character, what likely going to happen to them in the year to come. So box number seven is stage one between zero all the way until about thirty-five to forty years old plus minus, depending on situation also. So when they are young, they will be having this particular self character. So first thing first, there's this thing called the leader. The leader is called the representation for character under good leadership. People like to lead. But they don't really like to uh, listen to other people's orders, so they have their own mind, own thinking, own way of doing things. So it's not going to be easy to manage them. But basically, they are able to lead people. They are potentially with a good skill set, with a leadership quality. But that doesn't mean that they are good leader. They have the potential. They have the ability. But that does not mean. They are really good. You see, having a potential is one thing, but anyhow, let's go back into this representation in injury. Injury represent this particular information called bombastic character, sarcastic character, able to argue well, but in a way that because the the words that they say may hurt other people, and they like to criticize other people. But having said that. It's not that they like to criticize people, but apparently this is how they react. How the words that they use is very poisonous, very sharp, very、uh, can hurt a lot of people. And sometimes, or most of the time, if they are not conscious enough, they do not know about it. You see, so that's where the situation comes in, whereby you know they speak to people, they comment on certain things. But apparently, they are not able to communicate well with people because other people naturally will think that ah, this person, you know, why are they saying things which are so hurtful? But mind you, this person, they may not really know that they are like this because to them, it's natural, it's what they behave and how they behave, and they believe that whatever people out there, they also believe behave the same thing. Okay, so that's for injury. So next thing we have the problem star. Problem star is a health star. So which means that basically this person health will always triggered, and will always have health issue. But on the other hand, if he were to engage in things related to metaphysics, religious, or even helping people, then it will help them in this aspect of the health issue. But not to worry, because the health itself, there's the leader on top, which means that generally speaking, this leader is able to help him in his health. That means there'll be people,、uh, mentors, coaches, or even doctors, consultant available that's able to help them to guide them to have a better health. But they are usually they are more prone into going to metaphysics. They believe in such kind of things and. Of course, having said that, a problem star person will be something which is more stubborn, can be a little bit greedy, but that's not the main focus point, and they there's also a small group of people when they have this particular metaphysics star in their chart, meaning that they do have certain special ability, 
When I say special ability, it means that they are able to maybe see things, feel things, or visualize certain things whereby it might not happen now, it might happen later, and they are able to forecast and see what's happening next time. They are also able to connect with the supernatural world. And apparently about 20% of my students in Ximen Dunjia, they are able to have this kind of feelings or even seeing. So it depends on what kind of senses. Different people will have different senses. People who can feel, they can smell, they can see, so on and so forth. Or even they can visualize what's going to happen. Even they can see what's going, what is happening now in other country, even though they are not in that country. So it's very interesting in that aspect. But anyhow, that's for the character of the, this particular chart. Let's move on to the second stage, whereby what is second stage? Second stage means the age 35, 40 years old and above. So box number six is the thing located. So this thing is telling us uh, where are the characters of this person. So we have this top one, which we call a serpent. Serpent means worrisome. People who uh, who like to pester people, you know, so once they clinch into something, they will make sure that they get the things up and running and they will not let go. So it's like a snake. When they bite onto it, they will not stop. But having said that, a snake also, they tend to worry too much. So anything, everything, nothing also worry. So they may tend to get depressed most of the time and they may get more white hairs because they are overthinker. And perhaps worse come to worse, the uh, mental stress is going to go down the drain and become a very tricky situation whereby sometimes they may get depression and eventually their mental health will suffer. You see, then they become mad because of the overstress and becoming a depression person. But anyhow, that's uh, for serpent where we need to really be mindful that people who are serpent will need to manage their stress level or else it's going to be get, getting a bit more challenging for them. Okay, next one we have the obstruct. Obstruct means this is person who is an introvert person. They don't really like to socialize. They always keep to themselves. They can communicate via through words in terms of the return email social media, but if you like, ask them to do socialization, that means meeting up with people, so on and so forth, they may prefer not to do so. But not saying that they cannot talk, they can talk if they want to, they, they choose their friends very carefully. So because of that, it's not easy to connect with them in the very beginning. So it may take a few months or years for them to even get to know them. But once they open up to you, then there's this particular thing is that they would open up their mind, everything to you, and they will treat you like a best friend forever. You know, when you have problem, they will always come to you and help you regardless of any situation. So this is a good thing about this uh, obstructor, but of course they are not very socialized, they don't really talk too much, and they always think, uh, so that means they think a lot. They communicate with themselves a lot, so which means that usually, you know, they can be quite intelligent in that aspect. Okay, anyhow, next one we have the destroyer. So we have this destroyer means that this is person who is a destroyer person. Whatever along the way, he will destroy. Whatever job he has, he will destroy. Whatever relationship he has, he will destroy. Business, he will destroy. So which means that after a few months of engaging in certain things, he will let go and move on to another place. If you have a relationship, after three to six months or one year, he will move on to another person. So this is something where it's a bit tricky for people who have a destroyer. And they always do that. Because of that, they enjoy the whole process. I mean, enjoy in such a way that it's part and parcel of the, uh, the way they communicate with themselves. But of course, the after effect of destroying all these events, jobs, career, business, or even relationship will have a side effect on this, you see. But as a whole, this is... This destroyer may also be a pillar of the company, of the business, or even the relationship, or even family. So if they are able to put their focus on this as a pillar of the company, the business, the job, or even as a family, they are able to fare very well and the negative effect of destroying will be even minimum. 
So it's a matter of where the person focus on in their life. If they are able to focus on the right channel, then this destroyer is not so disruptive. It, it will still be there, but it will be, you know, percentage will be smaller. But anyhow, let's look at the career of this person. The career of this person is in this particular thing called the open, open door. Open door, we have a horse. So which means that every job that he goes to will not be stable if it's a local job. Or if it's a foreign job, then it should not be that, that bad, you know. But on top of that, there's a black tortoise, this particular symbol called the black tortoise, which is telling us that this black tortoise is not a good combination. That means when he go for a job, he will tend to lose some money. He will spend a lot of money. And then this uh, impulse means very fast. That means when you get a job, when you quit the job, it's going to be very fast. So it's in out, in out. On top of the character of the destroyer, it's going to emphasize and uh, help him to destroy the jobs and the career very often, you see. And at the same time, if you look at this particular box, this is actually a green color box. You know, I have I'm, I've covered the green color already anyway. Uh, but this is a wood, you know, wood element. And himself is a, in the second stage, is a matter. So this matter clashes with wood, which means that he will not like to work for people. He dislike working for people. That means eventually, no matter what he, the job he has, there's a destroyer coming in. There's an impulse coming in and he also does not like the job. So which means that uh, even if in the second stage of his life, if he were to have a job, I do not see this person working and staying in a company for too long because he's not really a person that's able to love working unless there's no choice, you know, uh, where he may not have any skill set, no ability, no nothing. And then apparently, he just have to stick to the job to have an income. You know, that could be another situation. But if he have a choice, he will move on to another company, do business or do any other things that beside working for people, you see. So that's the basic analysis of this person, of this particular chart under the astrology of Qimen Dunjia. Thank you very much for listening to this video. Thank you.